Hello, everybody. My name is Nina Soden, urban fantasy author of the Blood Angel series, the Sector C series, and the just released The Beast Within, an interactive urban fantasy novel. And today I am super excited because I have Ashley Thompson here with me on this on my site. So she was born and raised in beautiful Alabama. Ashley loves her family and they are the most important thing to her. When she is not working or writing or whatever, she is spending time with her family. She has a wonderful husband, Andy, and she loves to go on crazy adventures with him. She also loves spending time with her fur babies and we will talk a little bit about them as well. She's an avid reader and a lover of the Atlanta Braves baseball and Crimson Tide football. So when you live in Alabama, you have to choose either Alabama or Auburn. She has selected Alabama. All right, she is also a member of the Alabama Writers Cooperative. Steel Hearts is her debut novel, and that is the one we are going to be focusing on today. So Ashley, First off, to get started, show me your book cover. Okay, Steel Hearts, such a pretty cover. It's I love it. Who designed the cover? Um, I actually designed it myself. Um, and I was really adamant because uh, it's based in Alabama. A uh, part of the story is in Birmingham. And then, you know, it's just a little made up town um, that we uh, finish the book in. So I was very adamant and I don't know if you can see very well, but I was very adamant to have part of Birmingham in there. So That's you have really that. cool. So is that where you're from Birmingham? Um, no, I'm actually from Albertville. Um, okay. I was born in Anniston, but my family moved up here. Uh, my grandfather is from here. So we moved up here to be with him. Okay. Very cool. So why don't you tell us a little bit, we'll start talking just about the book. Tell us a little bit about the book and maybe read us the book blurb on the back of the cover. Um, it's it's a love story. It's a, a chick lit book, I guess. Um, not particularly one of my favorite genres, but um, every now and then I love a good love story. Um, so it kind of made sense for me to that be the first one I write because it just kind of came to me and I was like, okay, well, this is it. This is how we're going to do it. Um, so the book blurb is Lottie Mae Haywood is living her best life doing what she loves, art. When she meets Jake Samford, she believes she's found the one to spend the rest of her life with. When he's not the man she thought, she returns home to Thomasville, Alabama. With a new love interest and things going well, her sister brings home Jake. Things take a turn and Lottie has a decision to make. Will she make the right one? All right. So her sister brings home her ex. Yes. Interesting. Small town, Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if you don't particularly care for Chiclet, how is it that you wrote Chiclet for your first book? You know, <laughs> the funny thing was, is I woke up one day and I looked at my husband and I said, I'm going to write a book. And he literally said to me, you and your crazy adventures. Yeah. And so I kind of sat there for like a day or two. And I was like, okay, what am I going to write about? And I just, I started making a list of what to write about. And um, my friend, Amber, um, I work with her and we're, we're book besties. We, we read books together and she was like, I think that would be really cool for you to write a love story. She's like me. She doesn't, she's a mystery crime thriller, but every once in a while she likes to read these types of books. So I was like, well, that would be easy enough for me to write. I would think because love stories to me are easily written. Like I don't, I didn't have a hard time writing it. Like I took bits and pieces of what I experienced in the dating world and bits and pieces of what everybody else and kind of just combined them together. And I was like, done, this is what we're going to write. So um, I just, I love a good love story every now and then. And it was just, it came to me and it just kind of flowed out of me. So so you woke up one day and decided, I'm going to write a book. How long did it take you from that day to actual publication? Um, it took about a month and a half, actually. Um, 
And I know that that sounds really crazy because it is because I know authors will take months, years, a very long time to write, but I don't have patience. And when I start a project, I want to get it done. So when I wasn't working, I wasn't tending to things that needed to be tended to. I was writing. So, and just the more I wrote, the quicker it got written. So what is your writing process? Do you outline? Do you plot? Do you plan? Or did you just sit down at the computer and start typing start to finish? Honestly, I started typing first. Um, and then I decided, I was like, well, I need to have a plot. And so, because I, I didn't want it to be like all over the place. I wanted it to be, you know, point, 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 point. Yeah. So I um, I do what I call book development. I don't know what anybody else calls them. But um, I just, I listed all my characters, mm -hmm. what I wanted them to do, age, you know, everything, their demographics. And then I turned around and I made an outline. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much how I do it. I'll, I'll put everything down on paper, make an outline, and then just go to it. So in one month, you went from concept to a published book. Yes. What was the writing process period? What do you mean? Like, how long was it from just writing it, the first draft? Um, the first draft, it took probably about three weeks. Okay. And then what was your editing process like? Um, my friend, I have a friend that does editing and it took her about a week to edit it. Okay. So you have, you did a, a friend writer, basically like a beta reader as opposed to a professional editor. Right. Okay. And you designed your own cover. I did. And I suspect you are an Amazon author. So you probably published on Kate, um, Amazon publishing. I actually used Ingram Spark. Okay. Okay. Very cool. And do you have ebook available as well as paperback? It's paperback and, and ebook. Okay. Show us that cover one more time. Okay. Okay, everybody out there, Ashley has graciously allowed us to do a giveaway on this site. So if you are interested in getting a copy of Steel Hearts, beautiful cover. I cannot wait to see it in person go ahead and comment below. I want to win. You also need to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment below. I want to win. All right. Thank you so much for showing us the cover. Thank you so much for being able to do a giveaway. She's going to do an autographed copy giveaway. Very excited. Now, would you say this is a young adult romance? Is it adult romance? What age range are we looking for here? I would say adult. Adult. Okay. So potential sex language, yeah. that type of thing. Okay. Not a problem. So, all right, you viewers that are younger, you got to sit this one out. <laughs> all right. Tell me a little bit about what your readers can expect from you next. What are you working on? Um, I am working on a thriller. Okay. Um, and it's going to take me just a little bit longer to do um, because I want to do it justice. Um, I want to make sure it's right. I want to make, I've done a lot of research. Um, I've, my favorite author is Stephen King. Mine too. So I, I love him. Um, so I kind of, I, I want to be able to make sure that it can stand up against other thrillers if that makes sense yeah so i want to keep my time with it i want to make sure that it goes it flows and you know there's a lot of plot twists because i love plot twists and um i'm actually fixing to start the first draft edit and i'm gonna go through and add remove you know do all the things so um that would be my next book and when did you I want to get a timeline here. When did you publish Steel Hearts? Um, Steel Hearts was Steel Hearts is going to come out August twenty second. Okay, so it has not yet come out. Right. So you started it in June. Yes. Okay. And you're already done with the first draft of your next book. Yes. 
When did you start that book? Um, about, I'd say about three weeks ago. Like as soon as, I know, it's mind boggling. Um, as soon as I started the phase with editing and getting that set up to be published, I automatically started another book. Okay, so you said when you're not working, you're writing. Yes. So you have a full-time job? I do. Mm, okay, and what is your job? What do you do? Um, I work for Prince Telecom. We're a contractor for Charter and Comcast, and I'm a senior dispatcher. So you're busy. It's not yes. like you have time on the job to write. Right. You just write a lot when you're off right. and very quickly. Yeah. As an author who's written several books, I have never finished one in a month, start to publication. That is amazing to me. Thank you. Absolutely fantastic. I have no idea how you find the time for that. <laughs> With, yeah, that's crazy. But well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you're working on a thriller. You're mm -hmm. getting ready to do your rewrites. And when are we expecting that one to come out? Um, I'm looking at <laughs> December 1st. Okay, so two in your first year. Yes. Now, do you have a background in literature? What is your... No, no. not at all. Um, I actually, um, I tell people I'm a jack of all trades and master of none. Um, I have a degree in criminal justice. I have a degree in medical transcription. Um, I work in a cable business. Um, I've worked at the hospital before, so I just really have this broad range of skills and um, I don't have any literary background other than I read books. <laughs> and you, I assume you read a lot. Yes. In a lot of different genres. What is your favorite genre to read? Um, crime, crime and mystery. Okay. Um, and really, if it just captivates me in the first page, I'll read it. Um, there are several books that come out. Um, like I said, my friend Amber and I, we read a lot of books together. So I'm always finding books and she's always finding books. And um, I really don't stick to a, one particular genre, but really here lately this, this year, it's been a lot of thriller novels. Okay. So. so you read a lot, you write rather quickly. That's fantastic. You said that Stephen King is your favorite author. Do you feel that your next book, the one that you're working on right now, kind of goes into that same genre as Stephen King's or uh, not so much? Because he has, he has a very wide range, but it all has right. this kind of supernatural kind of otherworldly feel to it. Do you have right. that at all in yours? No, no. Yeah. I think that it probably fits into, I actually really don't even know what it would fit into <laughs> at this okay. point. And is it adult or is it young adult? Where it's does your new it's one adult. Start? It's adult. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what are you reading now? Um, at night, I've been reading Stephen King, um, which is taking me forever to read. His books are huge and um so I've been reading that at night, and then I'm fixing to start uh, The Song of Achilles. Which Stephen King novel are you reading right now? Um, I actually don't even remember the name of it. I can tell you, though. It's the Outsider. Oh, I loved that book. Very good book. Very good book. All right, so tell me a little bit about what made you decide one day when you woke up to write a book. I mean, no background in it, just a love of reading. What made you decide, this is my next adventure? Several years ago, several years ago, I attempted to write and I got bored with it and it died. I set it to the side, never looked at it again. And I just really, over the years, I've wanted to do it. But I kind of talked myself out, out of it. Like, your stories aren't going to be very good. Nobody's going to want to read them. 
nobody's going to care, you know, that sort of thing. And like I've said, I am an avid reader. And then I was like, you know, it'd be really cool to be a part of this community, you know, because I'm a part of the book community. But how about I just stand up and say, hey, I can write a story too. And that's kind of just the, my thought process on it. Um, was there a conscious decision to do independent publishing, self-publishing versus traditional publishing? And if so, why did you make that choice? Um, I did a lot of research first um, while I was writing because what I, because I'll write some and then set it aside and come back to it. Um, but I did a lot of research on whether I wanted to do self-publishing or whether I wanted to do tr traditional publishing. Um, and I ultimately went with self-publishing because I wanted a complete control over it. I wanted to be able to design my own cover and um, make sure it was mine. Um, you know, I didn't want somebody to say, okay, here's your book cover, if that makes sense. Or yeah. I like this book, but I don't like the way it's going. So let's change it. I just wanted a complete control over it with it being my first book and literally my child. Um, I just, I wanted to have that freedom. So that's why I went with self-publishing and I did a lot of research on Amazon and I did a little, you know, a lot on Ingram Spark and Ingram Spark just tended to be a little bit more better fit for me. What did you find were the key differences between Ingram Spark and Amazon? Um, from what I read, um, and I, I may be wrong on this, but with Amazon, I kind of felt like it was just tailored to Amazon. Mm -hmm. And I know everybody uses Amazon. I use Amazon. Um, but with Ingram Spark, you know, you get, you, you're on Amazon, you're on Barnes and Noble, you know, you can get into these small bookstores and things like that. Um, so that's kind of what pushed me towards Ingram Spark was that it was going to be a, a bigger market okay. for it. Now, do you see in the future your next novel or novels after that, do you see those also being self-published or do you think that you will eventually go the traditional publishing route? I think I'm going to try traditional publishing at least once um, to say that I can, I did both um, and kind of see which one I like better. Um, so uh, the traditional publishing kind of scares me, I guess. Um, but there's a possibility I'll stick with self-publishing. Now, who in the writing community is kind of um, your go-to? Like, do you have anybody that you are working with in the indie writing community that's kind of like a, a bounce ideas off of or anything like that? Or do you just solely work um, alone? I solely work alone. Uh, one of the things that I did when I started doing this is I joined a Facebook group mm -hmm. um, for authors uh, that do the indie and they've been a lot of help. I'll just, you know, put a question out there or opinion, you know, hey, help me out here and I'll get so many opinions and, you know, I can just kind of sift through um, and kind of take my own and make the decision that way. So I, I did that. I just joined a Facebook group. Okay. Very good. Yeah. There's so many people in this community and a lot of indie offers. I'm, I, indie authors are great because they're so helpful and they do just really want to see all of you succeed, right. which is fantastic. I have absolutely loved being a part of the indie author community. Um, it's been amazing from start to finish. Cause when I started, I knew absolutely nothing. Right. I was like, I can write a book just like you. I woke up one day and I was like, I think I could turn this into a book. Right. And so I definitely think that having that support system of indie authors out there on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere else um, is a really good bonus. It's something right. that traditional authors don't necessarily have. Right. But I think that's great. So what would you say or what advice would you give to somebody that just decides one day, I think I want to write? Do it. Do it. My, my big thing is, and you know, people have bucket lists, they have things that they want to do, but they're too afraid to do it because they're afraid of failure. And my thing is, 
in what I told my husband, I said, you know, it terrifies me to do this because what if it doesn't do what I want it to do? Or, you know, because I've set my bar pretty high. Um, but if I fail at this, it's, hey, I did it. I did it. I followed through with it. It's okay. On to the next. You know, my if I could tell anybody anything, it would be do it. It's going to scare you. And you might hit some hiccups along the way. But it'll be worth it. Because even if you don't succeed and if you do succeed, you did it. And it's something that you say you were a part of. Yep. I think that's fantastic and great advice because you don't know until you try something you don't know. And I think that you have regrets in life if you want to do something and you don't try it. And right. absolutely just do it. What is What can you do really fail? If you're right. self-publishing, what is really failure if you've gotten the book out there? Right. There really isn't a failure at that point. Right. So you said you set your bar really high. So what are your goals with your book? What do you want your book to achieve? Um, the bestseller list. <laughs> um, you know, I just really, I want to give somebody something to read, you know, something that they can enjoy. Um, I want to see it do great things. Um, like I said, bestseller list would be wonderful. Um, and that's okay if it doesn't make it, but you know, um, I just, I want to give somebody, somebody to sit down and, and say, okay, I'm going to read this book and I enjoyed it. If I can bring a smile to your face through my writing, that's worth it to me. Yeah. And are you taking pre-orders right now? You said it doesn't come out until when? August 22nd. August 22nd. But if you want to win a copy, comment below. I want to win like this video and subscribe to my channel because you could possibly win a free copy. Okay. If you're not going to win a free copy, it comes out in August. Mm -hmm. Are you accepting pre-orders? Um, I have directed everybody to Amazon and Barnes and Noble, um, and it is available for pre-order on both of those. Fantastic. I will put the links to both of those in the description below. So if you just can't wait to see if you win, go ahead and click the link and order your copy today. All right, fantastic. All right, how do you, as a brand new author, um, find time not only to work full time, spend time with your husband and your fur babies, which by the way, what are their names? Um, Bo and Bama. Okay, and they are? They're dachshunds. Dachshunds, okay. Mm -hmm. So how do you find time to do all of that and write? Do you sleep? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I um, actually, the, after, the evening time um, is when I do the most writing. Um, sometimes when I'll wake up about an hour, an hour and a half before I have to clock in because I work from home. Oh, nice. Okay, so, so you'll commute. Uh, right. Uh, so sometimes when I wake up, early in the mornings I write, but the main time that I write is that evening when we're sitting in the living room watching TV um, and just kind of winding down from the day. That's that's the main time that I write. So I can, I'm picturing this, you're on the couch watching TV, writing, so you don't need quiet or background music. You like the noise and that doesn't distract you. Right. Okay. I've talked to so many authors and you really do see a difference in writing patterns. Like I write at a desk on a laptop and I don't like disruptions. I don't mind noise like music, right. but, um, and there are some times where I need music to kind of fuel it, but interruptions and in TV just distract me. Right. Um, so to have somebody say they can do it in front of a TV, that's really interesting to me. Cause I think I'd be watching the TV more than I was watching my computer screen. Right. <laughs> and do you write Pen and paper, typewriter, computer, laptop? It's all on a laptop. Okay. And about, do you, okay, this is a strange question. Do you have a daily goal? Do you have a word goal or a chapter goal or a page goal that you sit down and say, I'm going to do this much today? Or is it just you write when you feel? Um, I try to write at least a chapter a day. 
Um, I don't make it sometimes, um, but honestly, I don't make a goal for myself. I think that's I think that's why I've gotten it, to write it so quickly. Um, I just I'll just sit down and write. I'll write until I'm tired, and then whatever got done for that day is done for the day. So there's not really a time line. Of, and how roughly how long are your books? Um, this one is 158 pages. Um, I, I want to say the next one is probably going to be about 300. Um, so just, I, I'll write it, start to finish it, you know, start to finish. And then however long it's going to be is how long it's going to be. So I don't really make a determination when I'm writing it. I just, I let the story flow out and then however many pages it's going to be by the end, that's, that's the number. <laughs> okay. Is there anything that we have not yet talked about that you would like my viewers to know about either you, your process, or your book? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I like to end all of my interviews with um, the James Lipton Inside the Actors Studio questionnaire. So if you don't know what that is, awesome. If you do, well, then you have a heads up. So it is a 10 question hot seat questionnaire. Don't want you to think about the answers. Just say what first comes off, comes into your mind. No need to explain. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. What is your favorite word? Oh, I can't say that on. <laughs> can't yeah, say you it can. On. No. <laughs> um, love. Okay. What is your least favorite word? Moist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what turns you on? Um. Affection. What turns you off? Ugliness from the heart. What sound or noise do you love? Birds. What sound or noise do you hate? Snoring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is your favorite curse word? Shit. Okay. <laughs> what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? A doctor. What profession would you not want to try? I don't know. Okay. Last question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gate? Oh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on my uh, channel. I am so excited to share your book, Steel Hearts, with all of my viewers, and I cannot wait to share it with one lucky winner. All right. Thank you for coming on. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.